So this is a diagnostic case of diagnostic arthroscopy where uh, there is a loose body uh, complaint and uh, he has been having a loose body sensation since a long time. So this is a diagnostic arthroscopy so we are just showing uh, how to go about a diagnostic arthroscopy. The first thing when you are alone you have to hold this leg here uh, along with your own body weight support and you have to just mark everything. So this is the patella, this is the patella tendon, the cordyceps tendon. I have marked my tendon. step is that you should not rotate the blade inside the joint and you have to insert your uh, trocar first there will be a certain give way and you have to be towards the notch right so you will take out this thing after that you have gone into the supra patellar space so once i am in the joint i know it i will slightly retract take it this out and extend the knee and try to go in the Supra-patellar recess. So once I am in the supra-patellar recess, you can see this trocar is in the supra-patellar recess. We will start the diagnostic arthroscopy, right? So the rest of it will be in the video, and we will continue with that. Second part where we are we are doing our diagnostic scopy, and now we need to make our medial border. So absolutely in the in the line of this uh, lateral border that you can feel the soft spot just underneath the patella at the joint line level. And you have to insert the needle in such a way that it has been shown in the video that once you you are you have to go straight straight down. You don't have to go towards your uh, scope or the towards the notch. And once you go straight in, you can feel this needle touching your scope somewhere inside, right? So this is exactly the needle as, as it is coming in the video also. So you can manipulate it. between the 
PCL. As you can see, this is the PCL here, and we have gone between the interval of the PCL and the medial side, right? So we have done uh, quite uh, absolutely quite no scuffing there, and we have gone and seen the root. Similarly, while how to see the lateral side is that you go to the lateral side, do a figure of four position, keep your assistant by your side so that they can help you. In case that you get lost, try and go directly to the notch first. And once you see the notch, you see the ACL there. You see the ACL there, it is attached beautifully in a figure of four that you can see. And there is this PCL that you can see, right? These are ACL and the PCL. And then you can go inside on CV. Lateral. Now your assistant will actually try and push the femur down and you can open up this lateral space. Now once you rotate the camera you can see a horizontal meniscus. Can you see that? So the a horizontal meniscus is actually the thing that you want to visualize. In case that you want some more of visualization you can lift this leg up with one hand and continuously uh, locate it with the camera also. right? So you can lift this up and you can see the under surface, over surface, all the places of the meniscus, of the lateral meniscus. Once you come to the anterior one of the body, you have to leave the foot down and then you have to examine, right? So this is the way and arthroscopy is all about keeping your camera stable, basically. So in case that your camera is stable, your most of your half of, more than half of your work is done, right? So we will now proceed with inspection of the gutters. Thank you.